yeah, yeah, yeah. The concept vehicle has been the Hattori. It has not been what we normally know as the blueprint of success from the Bolivar. It has been the Hattori all day. Actually, never mind, I was lying. It is, in fact, Experience and Radish. It is not that matchup, and we're getting into that right now. <laughs> <laughs> experience and Radish, one of the things that I've been excited to see, I was watching earlier on before I was on, and I saw that uh, Experience is going crazy with the cannon. And I am so excited to see somebody playing cannon. I was talking about this all yesterday. Like, where's it at? Where are the players I mean, Kida using this? Had that Zol yesterday that popped off, and also this exp uh, experience did pop off earlier mm -hmm. because it was in fact this is in fact a run back. And so at the very beginning of top 32, experience three old Radish, and uh -huh. then Radish went on a tear through the elimination side of bracket. And now that the now the run back is here, uh, let's see how things go. Uh, I think a big part of that is going to have to do with. Radish being able to get those whip punishes when necessary. Going to find one right there with the side light, but you were alluding to it. Cannon goes off. And experiences Cannon in particular, who also is the person who sent Luna down the eliminations, is the reason why being able to get to this point. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I can't believe the game started the way that it just did. The cannon does go off, but uh, Radish said, I ain't having none of that, and cleaned that stock up with those gauntlets. And I mean, actually, that was a fair amount of gauntlets and orb on the first stock. Mm -hmm. Now, we're gonna see what the sword can do. Can the sword, can he land a downlight recovery or something like that and get rid, rid of this stock quickly before you eat too much of this orb damage? What's funny enough is uh, that's the thing that we've been worried about the most when it, came, when it comes to watching experience, because we haven't really seen experience on Sword Legends for the most part. It's not really something we see too often. So uh, earlier oh. today, experience was missing out on D-Light Recoveries and D-Light Sarah is just going for straight up air-to-air -air reads with the recovery, hoping that they would connect. It has been getting better as the tournament has gone on, but you see how experience is just kind of hovering around, and I think Radish has understood that. Oh. And Radish is playing around the grounded game so you can't find those D-Lights and just gets them again. Oh, my gosh. So... One of the things about experience is gameplay. Like, like I like how you're mentioning he's not doing like the bread and butter stuff that sword players do. I think in general, experience's play is like all heart and grit. Like, right? <laughs> like some people is all practice and things like that. Experience comes out there and he's just like, it's all talent, baby. I'm on you. Yeah, it's either you get the experience where he is rushing you down for the quickest zero to knockout you've ever seen mm -hmm. or the slow place gameplay to try and frustrate you to approach and then win out in neutral that's one of the things that you have to be very careful about was when experience flips the switch radish has been playing in experience's face this whole time so he hasn't really allowed experience to go for that crazy pop-off gameplay that's why we're seeing the more slower pace now with the sword to try and bait experience excuse me radish on over to the ledge to maybe snipe out an early knockout now, that was a nice beta moment to go on the edge from Radish. Uh, dodged out of the way right when the Sair came in and got a clean punish with the sidelight on the orb. Now we have the Gauntlets out, trying to see if we can get rid of this stock. Is this going to be a two-stock game? I don't know, man, because it's looking like nothing big is hitting for Experience. Experience can, can only land sidelights. We haven't seen Sairs hitting lately. No recoveries, no nothing. Look at it, tries another side like that doesn't even hit. But that hits with the, uh, from from Radish. The recovery goes into the orb. And what are we going to see, man? I, I, don't, I don't think that, uh, yeah. We're gonna get a recover. I mean, a uh, neutral signature oh, out of the. Oh, you can. Sure, you can. <laughs> sure, you can. Hold this L because I don't think that experience had a lot of answers to doing anything otherwise to that. Uh, the cannon got kind of bopped at the beginning, but, but also oh, like bopped. the sword, like the sword play, like you said, it was mostly side lights. Uh, it was maybe a couple stray side airs occasionally, but as you look at the damage difference right there, essentially double uh, on the side of Ra uh, Radish from oh, yeah. 566 to 296. No signatures really thrown from experience as well. When you're playing Sidra, that's incorrect. Uh, Sidra, yes. Sidra yes. is all about that range, the coverage that she has from the sword end sig, from the cannon neutral six, from the down sig that we saw earlier from the anchor drop that stole a stock away from Luna. That was one of the biggest that, plays of the that day. That was big, break. that was experience at his finest mm -hmm. but look at that 92 damage 92 on the cannon experience is going to have to find a way to make that work going into the next game i think experience will be able to find a way to make it work the, the question is is radish going to force it to not work well hell no hey man what's going on man this is the new hotness that's what? what's going on that's the it's new st hotness it started dog. off with spring championships and people have been looking at it. It's like, huh, at first it didn't seem right. Smaller stage list, kind of seeming that way. Jiro is going to be the pick from experience going into game number two. Having that sword and scythe combination, such a good combination combo-wise. And even though the sword is still there, we didn't really see a lot out of experience's sword play. The scythe is not something we've really seen too, too much either. But 
might have been labbing and working this out as we get into the continuation of top eight. I mean, obviously, you have to know something we don't know, right? You're going to pick a character well, that most don't use and get your first stock stolen. I know something that you don't know. <laughs> I got something to tell you. But that you're away right now, go back to <laughs> <laughs> go back to Zol. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> so uh, right now, uh, I like the attempt at going for the GC sidelights to try and keep that combo going, and then experience uh, Raiders shot that. Say, okay, cool. Dare. Oh, cool. I sniped your uh, sniped your jump. Cool. Here's a D stick for your troubles. Uh, shake my hand. Call it a day. Yeah, that was that was ridiculous. I can't believe the stock was taken that fast. I can't believe this character is the new hotness. I got to get back on that. Like, I mean, AO Blue out here is going, AO. Like, hey, this man has been putting it work. Got to go ahead and finally find the stock right there. Uh, definitely looking at least a bit better compared to the last game and how long it took to get an evened out stock because, actually, never mind. It wasn't that last game of three stock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're all good. You're all good. <laughs> Trying to get some coverage on the side. Raiders with the neutral sig off of the gravity cancel. Makes it back on. And now, Experience is trying to fight back in. Gets in there. Still in the damage deficit. And you're fighting a resident slapper. And you have no defense. Stay mm -hmm. away from getting hit. Try to keep away on the off the si left side of the stage. I, I thought Experience was going to do a little bit better on keeping uh, Raiders out there. Because Raiders didn't do anything special to get back, right? Mm -hmm. And now you are in dangerous territory. The ooh, the gravity cancel. d line was so close. That was good defense and experience. I'm definitely going to give him that. He hovered just below. Going to go ahead and hover his way onto the left-hand side, though. Going to be brought back in, of course, by the emergency vehicle. And what do you do now here, Zip, on this last stock? Now, it's it's not like the Jiro has been looking awful. It's just that the Jiro hasn't had, like, the big combo starters to close out finishes that we've seen out of Raiders so far. And it's mostly been a simplicity is key tactic where I'm going to get a couple mm -hmm. hits and dip. You have to force something to scare Radish at this point. Radish has just been playing at a disadvantage so well. Well, definitely, what you're saying, you got to force something. You're playing Jiro. That's what this character is all about. High octane, and you need to scare somebody. You can't just sit here and play nothing but Nooch. That was an amazing pickup, he by hit. the way, all to right. get this game tied up. Now, but now, what I'm looking for, you know, I'm not going to give you a deep uh, analysis right now. All I'm going to tell you is Nooch Sig. That's all I want. That's something I've actually been wondering. Like, uh, Where's we, it at? We were just talking about how Sidra not using any of the six. That's the same on Jiro. Like, that, you want that range coverage. You want the Shadow Clones to go ahead and sneak up and try and just catch them slipping. And at least, you know, Experience was able to get that GCD light recovery a little mm -hmm. while ago where we were kind of wondering, hey, is he going to actually get anything going with the sword? It seems like as the match has been going on, Experience's uh, adjustments have been getting better. And it seems like he's kind of waking up a bit more to what Jiro needs to do. Yeah, he's doing a lot better job. Of, okay, see, I was going to say he's going to doing a better job of not getting hit, but immediately on red, super highly damaged off of what? Like three hits on this stock, maybe four? This is what it is when you're going to play this character. That could have been a true combo, and I believe it would have KO'd. This is scary territory for experience off to the left side of the stage. You're going to have to get back on here. Oh, I thought it was going to be – that was that was crazy. Went for the Sayer. I thought it was going to be a Spirit Bomb. My, my eyes have still been, like – crunched to my face, wondering where the <laughs> side air was after that side light. I'm still very confused why we're still playing this game. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> get what that was Radish either. is going to go ahead and finally close it out right there and say, look, I got you. We're going to finish it out right now, even though it took me 20 more minutes after I missed the side lights there to go ahead and finish it. But that right there was the best reversal we've seen all day. As yeah. soon as Radish decided to go, excuse me, Experience decided to go for the GC side light, guess what? No dodge. So you're not going to make that back. You have nothing to try and challenge me here. This is going to be covered freely every single time. And Radish capitalized on it. Radish now up two games over experience in the run back from earlier. Ah, the run back from earlier, man. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe that the Jiro comes out. We don't even see the Sig pack at all. Uh, with, what Sig did we see? Did we see any? No, it's sitting right there in my face. We and saw it, one signature. Was which say, one was it? I, I, I honestly don't even remember which one it was. Because, I don't even remember that. Because happened. I don't remember seeing it at any point. And uh, that's, that is something that goes against what you want to do with Jiro, like we were saying. Especially on ledge. You throw him at the ledge to condition people's fear out of the idea they could jump on safely. So what does that line up for you later on? Free ground pounds. Free at 200,000 miles, they still built Three, for the two, industry. They still going to make it work. Four. And we're going to see experience pull out the Kaya. Two Kayas in top eight. Do you think that experience went over to Discord and was like, and Paula, what should I do? I think experience went over like, to Discord. Pull up the you I, saw me. I think experience thought about like the the winning thing later on. It's like, man, I can't let Paula be the only one who has this. Now if Paula goes out at fifth, 
That means that there's two that got fifth, Kaya. So yeah, it's not just yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, we know. We're going to put an asterisk next to experience on this one. But let's see if and maybe it's not. Maybe experience gets somewhere with this. Uh, obviously, we've been saying it earlier. Maybe Spear is the answer. Maybe it's not. Right now, Orb looking like the consistency that you always need. And uh, not going to be in range to punish that. Doesn't even matter, though. The anti-air coming in again. Zip. So many times I go into eternal optimism. I don't know if I have the ability to do that right now. So I'm going to ask you, what do you think the experience needs to do to get back into this game? <sighs> Your bow's really got to turn up, right? The spear is a super read heavy weapon. And the bow, you can just play some nooch. Mm -hmm. So I think if you can get your neutral strong and really run this game up, run some damage up, then you can start to pull the spear, the spear out once you've seen how the other players like to play. Even though it's not the same weapon, you can see where dodge patterns start mm -hmm. to come out and understand what the player's trying to do. And then you take out the read heavy spear and you KO stocks. So, I mean, that, that's it. And the bow's doing well right now. That's what I need to see. And experience is literally just, he's hovering near the ledge. Jumping around, waiting for you to do something, and then getting whiff punished. He got this ledge control off of empty jumps into a dodge cider. And yep. then he was able to almost take that stock up by jumping off stage, getting that there. Now the spear coming through. The spear recovery is not going to be enough. Got to go ahead and get back to the bow. Sticking with the spear, actually. I felt like the bow was kind of looking pretty good at the end there. Well, I mean, I think it's exactly what I was saying. Like, you want to rack the damage up with the bow, and then now is when you come out here with the spear for KOs. Wow, that was scary stuff. Raiders was almost able to get land in there and get that KO on uh, that turnaround on the experience. But experience with the pogo gets the stock after safely making it back to the stage. Yeah, able to seal the deal right there, and uh, that was a big part of experience. Radish just looking for that nair to hopefully just snag it and kind of just put like that ribbon on the on the package into that gift <laughs> leading into game number four. But now one whole stock up, not touched at all. Experience is going to have to do what is not the easiest thing to do and find a borderline perfect stock with I think bow is the next one lined up. Yeah. With spear, it might be a little bit easier or that or that just do it with unarmed. I'm <laughs> do it with unarmed. That's more hits that we've seen in a while. <laughs> Those being lined up with the unarmed. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, here, here's the bow. And like I said, the bow looked very, very good in that first stock that he took. Uh, and, and we just got to see how the neutral plays out. Because I think that's one of the main areas he's been suffering. Oh, oh my gosh. He's God. not been able to deal with the edge guards of Raiders. And he has been losing neutral a lot in this set. So, yep. I mean, that's the answer to me. And we're back to the spear. I don't know. This is tough. The win condition just been online for Radish at this point. He's just been controlling advantage at the ledge so well. He's getting so many more connections on his signatures off to the side. Doesn't really need to worry too much about overextending. The late hit of recovery gets a hit in there too. It almost catches experience on that. It's not going to be enough, but now we're in side light side area ranges. This should be what could be a 3-0 in favor of Radish. Not going to look for the coverage. Just going for a straight up hit. Yeah, okay, so that, that neutral stick has been hitting it a lot. It's been pretty close, it's, like on the mark for the most part. Yeah, it's been on the mark, and it's also super scary that, that it's still just ripping off, and you don't even know if it's going to be at the right angle. So now you have no idea where to dodge if mm -hmm. you're experienced. And experience has the bow back in hand, but look how much damage is on. Neutral light almost does it from the orb, tries to dunk, punish from experience. I don't know, man. This is... I mean, look at the damage. Look at how damaged experience is. Literally one of those is going to do it. And 3-0, Radish's way, going into the next round. What a performance. Absolutely incredible for performance. Where Radish was looking at what could have been a, like, just straight up 3-0 elimination from Taffy earlier. Yeah. But not today. Gets the reverse that comes in here back-to-back, -back, goes up against experience. Experience going through the cycle of all of the characters that they could find on the character select screen. Not a single one was able to get that answer. That, then I think that the Jiro looked solid at the start, but the Sidra getting beat, I think, was like the nail in the coffin. I think that was what yeah. the moment where it was like, okay, he just figured me out. I don't know if I have uh, enough of the tank to figure this out myself. And Radish continues to move forward.